I have a question, and the question is for you. It's about the money facts. Do you guys really want to make $250,000 plus a year? I'm asking this question because this is something that I've been talking about for years. Start a business. And in some of my older videos, got this 250 is where life starts. Um, I, I really want to know, do you really, really want to make $250,000 a year plus? Because there's talk and then there's doing. I had some very interesting consulting calls today. Very interesting. And what these calls did, and I'm going to be doing more calls, and so let me explain to you what these calls are going to be about. These are not going to be sales calls. Uh, once I get it set up, I'm going to put it in there where you can go fill out the short question there and we can get on the phone for a little bit so I can figure out what you need because this one consultation today just really exposed how much this person didn't know. And this person isn't stupid or dumb or anything like that. And then I had another consulting call, which was very similar because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Can you make $250,000 a year from being online? Absolutely. You can make a million. You can make two. You can make three. You can make four. You can make 10. I personally know people who are in that between that 30 million and 50 million dollar range in gross revenue online 100 percent online so it's more than possible but the question is because i was like <clears throat> the second concept was really good and i was talking to him and i kind of laid out the things because this this is the thing that i am seeing Many of you do not know the groundwork or the things that you need to do. I'll give you an example. On Hustlers Kung Fu, I've got a video that's talking about the importance of writing. That video didn't get a lot of, it didn't get a lot of views. That's one of the most important things you can do online. Now, if you want to come to YouTube and TikTok and make exploratory videos, videos that are talking about passport bras, very popular topic, videos talking about how to create short form YouTube videos, very popular topic. You can do that. And I'm going to tell you, you will become a prisoner of your content. You will become a prisoner. So there are ways that you can make quick money on YouTube. And let's go ahead and let me just break it down quick. What, what I mean by quick. When I started in 2009, August, I didn't make any money. September, I didn't make any money. October is when I started to make money. And I was doing YouTube blogging and writing full time. But because I had preparations, I was able to do that. So I would consider from starting from nothing to actually making money in three months online to be quick. I would consider that to be quick. Um, with that, I need to add this, these uh, perspectives. Number one, when I came online, I had an understanding of things I had to do to make money in business because I had a business. I had a few businesses before I came to YouTube. And that was quick for me. Number one, I had capital. Number two, I had experience. So what would quick be for you? Let's go ahead and just kind of play around with it. What do you think quick would be for you where you are doing what you're doing? Where would quick be for you? Please put that in the comments. Please put that in the comments because I have seen people talk about that you can come on YouTube. And I'm gonna say it, if you come on YouTube with a good show, you can make money quick. You can get monetized your first month. I've seen it, I've known people to do it. However, 
you know, there's a person out there with the skills to go on stage and do magical tricks that literally blow your mind. And I'm going to put the YouTubers who just come to YouTube and instantly blow up, Normatic Introvert, Van Life, Caleb Hammer, Financial Audit, uh, Sam Young, the bodybuilder. There's something that are called exceptions to the rule. Caleb Hammer, Caleb Hammer, Financial Audit, his videos get more views than uh, Graham Stephan. Like way more views. Graham Stephan put out a video, get you know 30 to maybe 100. Um, Caleb put out a video, get three, four, five, six hundred thousand views. He gets way more views. And you know, when Caleb first came out, I thought it was really interesting because Caleb did a kind of a talk show where he would bring out random regular people and talk about their financial issues in a very entertaining way. So Caleb literally has broken the YouTube algorithm and he doesn't, you know, and he's gotten better with the editing. In the beginning, his editing wasn't that good and he just used regular thumbnails. And I'm beginning to see there's a, I don't know if people on YouTube are tired of the party tricks and they want real content from real content creators. I don't know, but you can make the money. You can make the money. And I was thinking today, and there, there was a comment, and I'm gonna say it. There are people out there who are jealous of successful YouTubers. Just jealous. That's the only way I can say it. Because the whole thing is like, you keep putting out these videos, you keep creating YouTube channels, you keep doing all this. Why do you keep doing that? It works. <laughs> but there's a whole group of people out there who are just desperately jealous of successful YouTubers. And I am not a person that walks around with hate bones. I don't have hate bones. If someone's successful, congratulations, carry on. Um, but there's a group of people who thoroughly, thoroughly hate successful YouTubers. And, you know, I was just kind of thinking back to some of the stuff that I used to do. And in many regards, I was just talking about my life. But to someone who has not done anything in life, not like, you, you, you can verify, you know, once again, I'm not posting any more receipts. I'm, I'm, a, I'm getting away from the receipt thing. Even though I had a lot of people, it's like, man, for you to show those kind of receipts, to show that kind of proof that was coming from intellectual property, like blew my mind. And I don't think that it should have blown your mind because there's a guy named Steven Spielberg who's become a billionaire through intellectual property. George Lucas, billionaire through intellectual property. So there's plenty and plenty of evidence that you can make a lot of money from intellectual property. What I think is, I did not know that someone that looked like you could do it. And this is one of the things that I really, really do not spend a lot of time like someone who looks like me. I don't even think like that. Um, put it this way, when cops pull up behind me, I don't get nervous. I'll tell you a story. This happened uh, Thanksgiving 2021. I had just bought a new Porsche. He's bragging, he's bragging. And um, I opened it up. I was doing like 145. The cop clocked me at 113. And because um, I was wearing the military hat, he gave me a break and he put 86 miles on the ticket. Gave me a really big break. And he told me and gave me a little talk. It's like, go to the Porsche Experience Center and everything. And that's been my experience with cops. Another cop story. 
285 was backed up. I wanted to get home, so I actually got over into the, the side of the road running. Cop pulled me over. He's like, don't be doing that no more, man. Don't do that no more. Gave me a warning, didn't give me a ticket. Um, that has been my experience with cops. I don't get scared. I don't like my, cause you know, here's the thing. I don't do anything where I have to worry about cops coming for me. I don't do anything. Yeah, I have a lot of guns. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff, but I pretty much am well aware of the law and I have not broken the law. So there's no reason for cops to come for me. There's, but there, there was a period in my life and this is when, let's call it the broke period, when I was just terrified of cops and all this other stuff. And I just really come across a new paradigm that you, if you act a certain way, you don't have to worry about cops. So I don't even worry about cops. I, I really don't. And I have done some crazy stuff that's not illegal, but it could draw attention. And one of the things that I see, and this is why I asked the question, do you want to make $250,000 a year plus. Why do I say plus? Let me tell you a little story. Some of you will consider this to be bragging. I'm just relaying my life. And I think for some of you to consider this to be bragging is because you haven't done anything in your life. You haven't, you ain't done shit in your life. Just sit around, eat fast food and watch cable TV. And that's all you've done. But, I used to live in the boarding house. I was homeless. In 18 months, I went from being homeless to having my first successful business where I made $250,000 while I was working a six-figure job. That happened 18 months from me being homeless. That and I'm, I'm about to say something. I think a lot of y'all need to be homeless and I'm, go, I'm, I'm gonna really dig into this because we live in the United States of America where coasting and cruising is the norm. And me being homeless, I went through a really traumatic experience that literally woke me up. And what you need to do is to be awakened. You need to be awakened because Many of you are just sleep until someone comes on the internet and they show a few fancy things and then you're like, they're bragging, they're bragging. I saw one comment that was talking about how people can learn a lot by riding, not in first class of a plane, but just riding across well-to-do people and getting to know how these people act. Now. Let me go ahead and explain this, because th this, 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 this is one of the things. Once again, I'm getting ready to start bragging again. Um, I had so many points on my credit card that I flew first class for about four years. And I always had interesting conversations most of the time. Sometimes I'd be sitting next to someone who didn't want to talk, but uh, I would say for every 10 times I flew, eight people wanted to talk, and I met some really interesting people. And I used to live in zip code 30327. And I used to live among the millionaires. I used to live with baseball stars and movie stars and athletes and all these kind of people. And I, I got to see stuff like Waka Flocka. I don't know exactly where he lives, but I ran into him one, two, about five times. So he lived somewhere close. And I saw rich people living different. There's this fantasy that there's this guy who's got a billion dollars, billion dollars, but his house isn't that much better than yours. He doesn't drive a fancy sports car. He drives a Honda. And many of you got this fantasy that there are people out here with tons and tons and tons of money, but they're living just like you. You tell yourself that so you don't feel bad about being a bum. That's why you tell yourself. I can tell you from personal experience, it ain't like that. 
It ain't like that. It ain't, it ain't even close to being like that. And this is why I keep asking this question. Do you want to make $250,000 a year plus? Do you? Because I see a lot of capitulation. I see a lot of sidestepping. I see a lot of moaning and groaning. And he's, he's bragging. He's bragging. He's going to say something. And, you know, today after the consultations, I was sitting there thinking because I have an understanding of how to make money online. And what people don't understand is it's a system. It's a process. It's a system. And this one guy, uh, I have a feeling he's going to jump into the new training. I just have a feeling because once again, he, he paid for a consulting call and we worked on his issues. And the second one, we worked on her issues. I think she's going to jump in because because here's the thing. Many of you do not understand the framework of making money online. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a big hint. Writing is a big part of it. I know you have you, you see, let's call it the YouTube class. YouTube has a class of people making 20, 30, 40, 50, 60,000 dollars a month, month after month, just posting videos on YouTube. That is the YouTube class. And that's the class that everyone wants to get into. But here's the thing. And I was talking to this young man who's a member of the YouTube class. He's like 23, 24 years old, does about 30,000 a month. And we were, we went to lunch and we were talking and I knew he was a YouTuber because I was like, how many hours a week you work? He said, I couldn't tell you because I'm always working. This is what a young 23 year old YouTuber who makes $30,000 a year, th excuse me, $30,000 per month told me he's deep into his craft. He's deep into his Instagram. He's deep into all these things that's making him money. And there's a group of them who hang together, who all do the same thing and they work, re work really well together. And all of these guys are making, I think there's one, his name is Quan. I think Quan makes the most. I have a feeling that Quan makes the most. I mean, Quan may be doing 50 to 80,000 a month. And there's this work ethic. And this is why I keep asking this question. Do you really want to make 250,000? Because it's going to require you to work. Um, it's possible. It's doable if you do the work. And that's where I think the conversation starts to fall apart. Doing the work. In the new training, I'm going to be talking about blogging and writing. You know, the Internet is about 75 percent written. You know that, right? 75 percent of the Internet is written, written. So that should tell you something. There are a number of newsletters that make millions per month. These newsletters are written. And see, this is the kind of stuff that I start talking about and the, the views just come down because I'm talking about that nerdy, nerdy stuff like riding and working and doing these things. And that's why I asked this question. Do you really want to make $250,000 a year? Because I'm going to tell you, can you do it on YouTube? Yes, it's possible. But the reality, the reality is like my money. I did not make my money from YouTube. I made my money from selling stuff. And then when I went to a YouTube conference and I started to talk to other YouTubers, it, my mind was blown because before I went to Vid Summit the first time, I was under the impression that all these YouTubers made all this money until I got to meet and talk and share and expose. And I found out I was making more money than the majority of them. And I was like, Hmm, this is interesting. This is interesting. So do you want to make $250,000 plus? Do you? Cause like I said, it's possible. It's possible. And I remember, on one of my older videos, because a lot of people were talking about, I'm going to create some online courses so I can get some of that easy money. And I remember 
my exact words, I dare you. I didn't say you couldn't. I said, I dare you. Because here's the thing, you, just because you created it, you think people gonna buy? That's your lack of knowledge right there. You think, oh, I'm just gonna make an online course, I'll make all this easy money. If you think that's gonna happen, that, that's one of the areas that you're just not. And it became misconstrued that I was telling people they couldn't do it. I, I was telling people that they couldn't do it. When I said, I dare you. A dare is go ahead and do it. Please come drink some of this Kool-Aid that I'm drinking. Please do it. Please do. So anyone that says, hey, you know, I'm saying you can't do it. I've never said that. Uh, for Unfortunately, I've took down the video so you can't point, but there's not one video where I said you couldn't make an online course. I actually said, I dare you. Because see, you don't know how hard it is to set up an online course and to start making that money. You have no clue because you haven't done it. You haven't done it. So we're going to get into some really interesting training because like I said, uh, some I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to start having conversations. I'm going to set this up where you go to the questionnaire, then you go ahead and answer a few questions and we're just going to have a, a talk. It's not going to be a sales call. We're just going to talk about what you need to do in terms of where you are. Because one of the things like today, I mean, after having those two conversations, my mind was like, wow, there's so much they don't know. And, you know, I'm, I'm starting to create connection points because like what I'm gonna do is, you know, uh, probably like tomorrow's a busy day, so I'm not gonna do it tomorrow, but probably Thursday, I'm gonna hook it up where you go, questions, take a minute, Go ahead and set up a short consulting call, not a sales call. I'm gonna ask you questions about where you are and what you need to make money online. And we're gonna do that pretty much the rest of the month because while well, we got some things to work out. So one of the things that I really see, and I see a lot of fear, I see a lot of fear, especially with credit, with credit and I see a lot of people who are just terrified and scared of doing stuff and building stuff and creating stuff. And once again, this kind of makes sense because if you've never done it, you don't know what that looks like. That could be a problem. So I'm gonna do, once again, I'm gonna do these calls, not a sales call, I'm not gonna try to sell you anything. I'm gonna ask you questions about where you are, what's going on with you in building your business. Because this guy, the first guy I talked to, he's got a shot if he does the work. And this is why I said he's got a shot if he does the work. Because a lot of people don't understand how much work's involved in being successful online. Once again, you can make a lot of money online. You can make a ton of money online, but it's going to require you to do the work. And if you're willing to do the work and you're willing to put in hours, you can make a lot of money online. And this is why I asked the question, do you really want to make two? Because one of the things I see in the comments, is like, everybody don't want to be rich, whatever you think. I'm just sitting there like, why are these people even coming to the channel? Why are these people even here? I have no clue because I can say consistently, except when I was talking about the comedy stuff that I've been talking about building, holding companies, this is going on for years. So why are these people who don't wanna do anything, why are they here? I have no clue. I have some observations. I think it's some of my older content because uh, one of the things that I have seen since I've shaken things up is my audiences. My audiences are starting to emerge to be really different per channel because I'm rearranging the content. So we will see what happens in 2024. So one of the things that you have to do is understand the audience. And I got people who watch everything. I got people who look for new YouTube channels. I got people who do all kinds of crazy stuff, right? 
But the reality is, are they really down to do the work? Really down to do the work because I have seen people literally start YouTube channels and just explode, explode. Like Caleb Hammer, he started making money his second month on YouTube. And I'm not talking about okay money. I'm talking about 20, 30,000. Caleb Hammer is probably doing Graham Stephan money at the moment. He's in the millions. He's in the millions. And this is strictly from YouTube. Just strictly from YouTube. And uh, he had some consulting. I don't really know. I didn't look at all his other stuff. So Caleb is on Graham Stephan's level at the moment, or he may be past it. He may be past Graham's money. So there's a lot of things that can happen. But the question is, do you want to make 250,000? Because this is how I put it together. And this is what I know from personal experience that when I did that, my life completely changed. It completely changed. Um, I know 250 is the number in my mind. It's the number. So if you're ready to hit it, we're going to be working on special training, um, probably December, because I got to ask you guys a bunch of questions to get that set up. And then we're going to start rolling into December. All right. That's all I got for you guys. I will talk to you in the next one. And please answer that question. Do you want to make $250,000 per year? Do you want to make it? Put, oh yes, in the comments. Let me know if you want to make that money.